thanks for coming back from wherever. I can always be persuaded to amend my busy schedule to accommodate my favorite niece mm. for a price. What's up? Well, um, I've gotten myself into a bit of trouble. Michael's having a really hard time since his girlfriend, Abby, died. And taking it out on dear old mom? We've had a little misunderstanding. Is that what you call lying about Jack's being dead? How do you know about that? Diane Miller's column is pretty informative. If even half of what she prints is true, you've been on quite the road. I did what I had to do, you know. Hey, I'm not judging. And that's why I called you. You know, you're many things, but you're not a hypocrite. I can't say the same for Sonny. So he's been less than understanding. Yeah, he's trying to act like he didn't run around town trying to kill Jack. Yeah, okay, well, where do I come into this? Michael is determined to avenge Abby's death, and he has turned to Johnny Scarra. Well, there are worse potential employers. In the state of mind Michael's in, this could be a disaster, Luke. Well, I assume you haven't been sitting in a corner wringing your hands. No, I warned Johnny to stay away from Michael, and, and then I begged him, and then I made him an offer he couldn't refuse. What was that? Me. really see the problem here, Caroline. You've always been able to handle men, whether it was to blackmail them, drug them, or just lie. Okay, okay. It's about Michael. You know, I would do anything to keep him safe, but... And you don't think that he would appreciate you playing a little mattress tag on his behalf? If I can get what I want without having to play mattress tag, I would be a very happy woman. And is this where I come into it? I need something to hold over Johnny. I need information that's going to give me the upper hand. And you want me to provide the information? You've given me blackmail ammunition before. For a price. Whatever happened to family comes first. Hey. <laughs> that sentiment works both ways. You wouldn't want to take advantage of dear old Uncle Luke's kindness. Name your price. What do you well, want? Well, now, let's just think about this. Searching for skeletons to rattle can be a tedious and sometimes dangerous proposition, but I'll do it for you if you can... Oh, my God, spit it out. How much is it going to cost me to get out of sleeping with Johnny? Hello, Carly. Luke. Johnny. Johnny. I didn't know you were back in town. I got back just in time to share a cup of joe with my favorite little niece. <laughs> well, enjoy. That was nice. Very nicely handled. Didn't show his hand. He was cool. He's big on being discreet. Mm, I'll bet he's even bigger on keeping the skin on his bones if Sonny finds out. I doubt that Sonny would give a damn, and I wouldn't give a damn about Sonny's reaction. No, you don't give a damn about Sonny. That's for sure. Is he looking over here? Is he looking? Now and then. Okay, how long is it going to take me to get some information I can use? I will handle this with my usual speed and efficiency. And don't skimp on the... Yeah. So how much is it going to cost me to have you... Did you see that? He just smiled and raised his cup at me. Perhaps he's toasting your future clandestine relationship. Well, I'm not going to look at him again. I'm not going to give him the satisfaction. There you go. <clears throat> Name your price. Okay. For starts, I want the complimentary suite at the Metro Court with all the usual amenities. Okay, so you want an open tab mm -hmm. at the Metro Court for a room and a spa. Gotcha. And the bar. The bar. Yes, in case I decide to do some entertaining. Fine, okay. I will comp you at the restaurant, the spa, and the bar. Good. Is he looking over here again? Do you think he can read lips? Not through the back of your head. Bunny, if you want a full ride at the Metro Court, you need to find me some information on Johnny, and you need to find it fast, because I can't hold him off forever. Are you sure you want to? What are you talking about? Well, with all this breathless anticipation and these furtive glances and all this worry, I'm getting hot myself. Sorry, my bad. Um, Luke, 
back in town. Yes. What horrible timing. I mean, with the, you know, nasty winter weather and all. Um, hold them back. Thank you. Oh, I guess you know. Yes, I do. Uh. Well, that was intense. Oh, Luke and I, we uh, had a lot to catch up on. World hunger, European debt crisis, that kind of stuff. Family business. Mm. You're not backing out on me, are you? Does Michael Wood make a very I'm not backing out. Good. You get ready for the ride of your life. <laughs> oh, can't wait. Yeah, I hope that's a two-way street. I think you'll find I'm full of surprises.